Hello, welcome back. I'm the Gaming Beaver, and welcome back to another Jurassic Park Builder Aquatic Tournament. We're going to jump straight in here into the Dacosaurus's League. Uh, it's going to cost us five bucks to enter and twenty bucks victory. So the really what's only on the table is fifteen bucks. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what creature you want to see in the next uh, Aquatic Tournament, and I will try my best to to uh, to show that. Um, we do have a few that are still left, but honestly. We don't need to use them. We've got Mosasaur, who is the best. Protosaurus is good. Elasmosaur is good. And Megalodon has the biggest attack of all the creatures. So, honestly, I don't think we need to buy those back right now. Um, so, let's go for... Let's go for... Uh, we'll have... Yeah, I think, actually... I think that's a good team. Helicopter on... Uh, Sunburnfish and Elasmosaur. They are outdoing us in... In uh, ferocity, but as we know, that doesn't matter. It matters if you know their weakness, if you know the creature's weakness, and you also uh, save your blocks and specials till last. I can't stress that enough. If you want to do good in these leagues, have the meat shield tactic, as in put out some decent ones out first, so the uh, the opponent uses all their blocks and all their specials on on those creatures, and then when they've used them all, they got no more blocks. You can sweep with your final using all blocks and specials. So tail swipe is Geosaur's weakness. Uh, it's nice, it's lovely and blue. Oh, your opponent is disconnected? What? I think that was actually a real person. Oh my god. Well, there you have it. Um, people have said that they think that there's bots. Well, I think we know there's bots in, but it's been rumored to whether there's been real people in. Now, why would they have just randomly disconnected uh, unless they were a bot? Um, you know, it wouldn't make sense unless it's programmed to be like that. So maybe Ludo have been smart and programmed it so that every now and again somebody does disconnect. Um, so we're gonna put we're gonna put these these guys in, and then for the final. It's going to be Elasmoth, uh, Mosasaur, Protosferina, and um, the Sea Scorpion Cthulhu. So, again, this is a really, really high ferocity team. And for Gold League, before the update, in Gold League, I was fighting silvers and even sometimes bronzes. But now that they've fixed it and bumped it up so that it, it depends on what you've got, there's no bars held at all. Um, which is a shame because I loved it. I loved using my bronze and silvers. And now that I've got golds, I can't use them. I still have not used bronze and silvers in my, uh, glacier. And I want to. I wanted to use them, but, uh, it looks like unless I lose all my creatures and start my park again, I'm never, ever gonna use them. So, uh, so Pliosaur... Uh, doesn't stand a chance against this. There's been speculation as to whether there's going to be new creatures coming out for this um, aquatic and glacier. Supposedly, Lyplurodon is on the books to come in. Uh, we have plenty of uh, plesiosaurs though, so I don't know why Lyplurodon would come in when we've already got Pliosaur, Chronosaurus. Um, Leoplurodon wouldn't look too much different, honestly. So this Mosasaur is taking on everything. Goes for the headbutt on the Megalodon. I don't know why. <clears throat> At this point, if you've played for as long as me, you kind of know the weaknesses. Um, I will make a video showing what to use against what, weaknesses, and their uh, strengths, like statistics and stuff. <coughs> oh, sorry, I've got a, I've got a sore throat right now. Um, that's why my voice seems a little bit off than usual. Uh, don't worry, we will be back to full um, enthusiasticness. But right now, uh, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my. I'm, what the hell am I kidding? I'm not even trying. I'm just doing it. It's just my voice sounds a bit odd. <laughs> so we go for the headbutt against the Protosphere. We're not doing too hot. It has to be said. Um, I probably should have saved my Megalodon, Megalodon for last because that's the best attack. Uh, not the best health, though. And we're on to Colossal Squid. Um, so again, they've used almost all their blocks. And we've saved ours. We've, we've been tactical. We've been thinking about how to use them. 
Look at that, he's copying our style. Actually, no, he's copying the color scheme, but he's not. We, spots are way better than stripes. It's always been that way growing up. What's better, spots or stripes? Spots, always. But only on everything else except for cars, because then cars you want racing stripes. And that did a crud ton of damage. Like, a lot. I don't think we can even take on another hen at this hit. So, uh, we're going to headbutt this turtle. Hopefully they can use their final block, and they do! Which frees us up to completely go for all, all blocks and all, uh, all specials. So they're going to try, unfortunately, in vain to do as much damage as possible to us. But I'm sorry, the victory here is going to us. So uh, we're going to go for our ink spray again. Nobody knows what the Colossal Squid's ink actually look like. Because we've never seen one um, alive, I think. Or Giant Squid. We've never seen one of those alive. I think there, there is one on display in a museum. But it's dead. So uh, it would be lovely to see a live one. Even if somebody just recorded it down in the depths of the, uh, of the ocean. And this is going to have to take the victory and on to the final. Will we get so lucky as to have another disconnection? I hope so. I do hope so, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, uh, so it's going to be Mosasaur, Protosphere. Now I'm going to save Mosasaur for last because he is the best one. He has the most health, but not the best attack. Um, we're against Lao. Uh, who should we put in? Who have we not seen in ages? Uh, oh god uh, Basically all of these are out of it Look at Lee Zikthes He has a huge jump between them He, he rivals the Silvers which is great um, Let's have Ulthalmosaurus And then we have Protosphere And uh, Mosasaur Who are we against? Probably just one Yeah I thought so Probably just one Mosasaur uh, that could be one level lower than our actual Mosasaur. I say usually in the finals, they have just one creature. Um, that was a really long load. I was getting a bit worried there. Um, I'm pretty sure the only disconnection problems happen in All-Star. That's the only time I've personally ever had a problem. But luckily, I haven't been in the All-Star League in a long time. And it kind of shows me that is it possible that Ludia have programmed the game to randomly disconnect only in the All-Star League. Um, I mean, that's what I'm guessing. Oh, no! Oh, he survives! Not even fully evolved and a little Echo the Dolphin. Come on! Oh, no, don't go for the Tails Rock! Oh! I'm sorry, guys. He's, uh... He's new. He's new at this. I'm, I am very sorry. I, I, I'm trying to train Echo, but, you know, he's not fully evolved. He doesn't know the, the, the way everything goes. So, out comes Protosphere the sail, the swordfish, actually, the prehistoric swordfish. They weren't too big. Uh, and it's, it's quite, quite interesting, actually, why they chose Protosphere to be in here. Um, because I don't think, out of all the aquatic creatures, it's not, like, the most well-known. So maybe they just did some research on their own and found it. So that itself would be quite interesting. And hopefully they'll do that. I'd love to see some more creatures that uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, people have been wanting... I, I've had... I mean, what I think is going to happen next is they're going to introduce a new park. Um, and people have been wanting the, uh, the Carboniferous era. You know, life before dinosaurs. But if that's the case, then they've already done Sea Scorpion. So, I don't know. Sea Scorpion kind of factors into that. Um, I think that's the only aquatic creature that does sort of blur the line between those two parks. Uh, but apart from that, it's possible. They've left it wide open. They haven't touched that at all. And that's it. Protosphere actually takes the lead. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting it to work. I was expecting Moses over against Moses over, But it looks like in the final, sometimes they just don't care. It's sort of like they give up. And that's another 20 bucks coming our way. Oh, we're almost on 2,400. That takes us to the Platinum League. And we're on Platinum League for everything. Um, which means 
that we're at the end in two days we're gonna win 45 bucks which is amazing so again only the special people hear this announcement and that's if you've liked this video leave a like it really supports me and i can't i can't really stress enough how much even just going down moving that mouse down clicking the like button helps me out personally because it helps the youtube algorithms know that um that this video is a good video or the youtube channel is a good youtube channel and that um it should be shared and promoted amongst all the other rubbish that is out on youtube and so thank you again because a lot of people do just watch the video all the way through and just click off uh, i understand if you don't have a youtube account i hundred completely hundred percent understand that you can't do that but it really helps me out and thank you again for all your support on this series and it's because of this support that it's going on and one every day so until next time i'll see you later Bye bye